When you think of driving in Alaska, do you think of this or this? Today, we're taking you on one of the most remote highways in Alaska. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Prudhoe Bay. Oh my God. Click subscribe and let's see if the roads are as bad as they say. We are officially on our way to Denali National Park and what better way to get there than the Denali Highway. Woo! I can't wait to go through here. I feel like this is one of the more remote highways that you could go on and hopefully we get to see a lot of wildlife. The Denali Highway is 134 miles long and it's mostly gravel road. Depending on the time of the year, there may be more potholes, but who knows? Fingers crossed, you have a lot of places redoing their roads. So you'll have these dirt road stretches where they have a flag person standing there, blocking off one side of traffic. And they have a pilot car that will tell all these cars to come down. The pilot car will pull over and then it will let us go and we'll, we'll go back the other way. Two times that we've done it, we've pretty much had perfect timing and haven't had to wait long. You never know how many miles the other cars are coming away from. So when you get to one of these spots, you could be stopped here for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But every time that we pull up, we're like, oh, there's the pilot car coming this way. So now we just have to wait for these cars to drive by and then it'll be our turn. Winnie Winnie has probably been here for a while. It's like they, they even shut off their, their rig because they have no brake lights on right now. Or they're just out of brake lights. Oh no, that'd be bad. <laughs> Oh, this is exactly why they have a tow vehicle. This is a huge ass dip in the center of the road with a giant work truck next to us. How about you, Paco? You doing the driving? Yeah, he's always driving. You doing the driving? Can you show him how you drive? Put your hands up. Oh, good boy. We're assuming that we're not gonna have really any service along the ride, so we've downloaded a couple of audio books. First up is Kevin Smith's Tough Shit. Just something to make us laugh. My American dream has always been simple, and it's one I encourage you to adopt as your own. Hmm. Figure out what you love to do, then figure out how to get paid to do it. We've already beat the odds. Just from our dad's nut to our mom's egg, the fact that we've made it here is kind of incredible. So cherish it, enjoy it, do your best. That's all you can do. Here's the line on the other side. It was probably like eight miles of road. They're in for the ride of a lifetime. It's a good one, that's for sure. We are officially on the Denali Highway. The first couple of miles are paved, so we're gonna enjoy that before we drop into God knows what. Beyond this point, not recommended, it says. Did it say that? Yep. It's clear that this highway isn't super well maintained anymore. If you could see that roadside stop over there it used to be a very big busy place when the Denali Highway was actually active and the only way to get across. But obviously it hasn't been that way in a long time. It's also a very thin road already. So like there's two lanes and they're tight. Into the unknown. How's the pavement treating you? It's uh, pretty fun. It's like, it's uneven and it goes up and down quite a bit. So you get a lot of bouncing. You gotta be really careful on roads like this. Make sure to take it easy and uh, be ready for movement to happen. You know, keep a good grip on the wheel. What's your speed? Right now I'm doing about 45 to almost 50, which is probably a little fast, but uh, I feel pretty confident in my abilities. As we're coming through the Denali Highway, getting to the pass, you guys can see it's super gloom out here. There is like zero visibility off the road. If you ask me, it makes some for some like really picturesque, like really cool vibe. You're vibing. Yeah, I love vibes like this. It's like kind of like you decompress when it when it looks like this outside. It's like, yeah. it's like almost like it's raining out, and you get to like kind of hang inside in the warmth and whatnot. Okay. It feels the same for this. All right, you feeling cozy over there? Yeah, I feel cozy. We're planning on sleeping along the highway somewhere. Hopefully tomorrow morning we wake up and it's like a nice, beautiful day. Who knows? I have to apologize for my camera work because it's really hard. I can say is there's not a lot of potholes so far. So, whoa. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Whoa. I'm, I'm excited to see when it turns to, uh, I'm excited to see when it turns to dirt. Sorry if you're getting seasick watching this. It's actually pretty funny. I feel like I'm riding a horse at a rodeo right now going down this road. I mean, watch, watch. You'll, you'll see. I keep one elbow up, and then this is what happens. It bucks you around a bit. Wait for it, here it comes. Whoa! Whoa! Pavement 
has just ended. We are now officially on the gravel road. Well, so far it actually feels more flat than the paved road. We're doing 45 right now and just cruising, no problem. They're actually even doing road work and maintenance on this part of the road. They just built a new bridge back there. When the Denali Highway opened in 1957, it was the first and only road access to Denali National Park. In 1971, however, the Parks Highway was constructed right from Anchorage to Denali, making the Denali Highway kind of obsolete. But as you can see, the views are absolutely stunning and totally worth the 134 mile bumpy, sketchy road. Since we are at the peak of the Denali Park Highway, we're gonna go and put a sticker on the sign that everybody else has to. We don't normally do things like this, but seems like it's already been done a couple times, so we're not like the only ones. I'll allow it. It is raining, so we'll see how well it sticks. Made it to 4,086 feet. McLaren Summit, FNA Van Life approved. <laughs> if you've been here and you put a sticker up there, let us know in the comments below. And you were right, it's definitely raining and we shouldn't fly the drone. Okay, thank okay. you. I just wanted to see them to see how displeased I am with this road. I don't know if I'm going to make it here for no bay. No, I don't think we are. Oh my god. There's some smooth spots in the day. They're few and far between. Only room for one spot down there and he's in it. All right, we got to find something else. Yeah. You want to go back that way or look, there's another road right here we could check. There are tons of places to park along the Denali Highway. There's literally like pull off after pull off after pull off. We're just trying to find a really pretty one. That one was absolutely beautiful, to be honest with you. It's just, he's kind of parked in the only spot and it's a one, one lane. So it's not like we could have like pulled over and shared the area with him. Right. I was wondering how the heck he was gonna get out of there. Back up. Ugh. Nice and slow. Sketchy. It's not worth it, I don't think. You wanna drive through the creek? I want to, but I also don't want to get stuck with nobody out here to pull us and out. And we don't have four by four. I'll tell you what, if Matt and Amber were here, I would go across that creek. Oh my god. Because I know that they could wench us out. Let me, I'm going to go take a look at it. I'm not interested in creek crossing business. What about you? You interested in creek crossing? You want to go check it out? Okay, let's go. We could pull into right there and have a creek view. Or if you want to keep driving, we go to the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Come on, Pop. Up and in. I just bought a new way. This is breathtaking out here. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it. Oh, man. Olive is looking fresh. The van is super dirty, but we found an amazing spot to camp for the night. This wasn't our first choice of spots, but it's still a great spot. And it looks like we have a little spot we could walk down to the river. Paco's excited, how about you Alex? I'm pretty excited too. This is absolutely stunning. There are tons of blueberries here. It's definitely berry picking season here in Alaska. We ran into some people on the road that were just like filling buckets up. Now it's our turn. I just bought a new way. This guy loves blueberries. You in there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Paco was more excited about the blueberries than we were. And we like him a lot. We gave him a couple and then he's like, I'm doing this myself. You're not feeding me yeah, fast enough. He's in the ones up there now too. Once we give it to him too, he knows that it's okay, that he could eat it. So then he finds it for himself and eats it. Ah, ah. no. Oh, Something died here for sure. 
You don't want to pick the blueberries from that spot, I'll tell you that much. Time for the most dangerous part of driving down any bumpy road, opening your upper cabinets. Oh! Nice. Haha, -ha, this definitely fell also off, fell off but hinge. how about this guy? Wow, everything like nestled itself. It fell, but it nestled. Check out Not the, as bad as I thought. I've uh, already opened this one. Oh, did you? Ta -da! One. Look at us go! Hell hey, yeah! I'm gonna make some black bean bolognese and Frank is gonna work on the edit for a little bit. Yeah. I'm How's ready. it look? It looks really good. I'm super excited because I am starving. <laughs> All right, so Paco, my buddy, I'm sorry, but you gotta sorry, get dude. up. Dude, I need the chair. Little dude. Oh, look at the little dude. We might have one too many throw pillows. Yeah, they're in the wrong area. They should be up there. <laughs> look, Paco doesn't wanna get up. He should be. Ugh. All right. Bon appetit, baby. Thank you. Mwah. Kisses to the chef. Okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Take the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. We have to leave super early this morning because I actually have a phone call at 10 a.m. And we got to do the rest of the drive, which is probably another quarter of the Denali Highway. And then we got to find service. So hopefully the first town out of the highway has service. If not, we're going to have to drive all the way to Tuckina before 10 a.m. This was a really sweet spot to sleep though. It was super quiet all night. We slept really peacefully, but now it's just... Even even with the animal bones right next to us, we slept real well. Yeah, did you show and, them the animal bones? And the half-built, uh, yeah. Grave? And the half-built grave. There was some animal bones and a grave. We survived, and that's all that matters. I guess we'll see about road conditions now that the road's wet. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask the question, what do you think, we have like another hour of this, or is it gonna be quick? What do you think? Like, how much more dirt road is left? Uh, oh, it'll come up a while. A while? Yeah. Alright. I'm wondering if it's like the other side where it becomes a regular road. It should again. at some point, yeah. but I don't know how long till that point. Mm. So now not only are the roads questionable, they're also wet. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Luckily for us, the weather turned and the sun came out, allowing us a beautiful view of all the surrounding area. Before we came on this highway, people warned us that we needed a spare tire because people get flats all the time, and also to expect that our windshield would probably get cracked along the way. Luckily, we didn't get stuck behind any big trucks that throw the rocks at you. And if you do, just make sure that you give yourself a big amount of space between them. If a truck is coming towards you, make sure to pull as far to the right as you possibly can to avoid any rocks getting kicked up by their great big tires. On the Denali Highway, the paved roads and the gravel roads were really good at times and really bad at times, so you just have to stay alert and take the drive as it comes. We are back on the pavement. Hopefully it's not as bad as the pavement on the other side. Wow, it's silent. Yeah, like the van quieted down so much. 45 minutes. 45 minutes from the spot we were parked at, yeah. So we still gotta get out to town to get some service. Today we are exploring Talkeetna, the launching pad for all of our Denali adventures. And I am so excited to go Denali, but first, this town is so freaking cute. There are tons of shops and restaurants, so we're gonna eat our way and shop our way through town and take you guys along for the adventure. <laughs> Let's do this. So these, these products are all natural. They're all uh, been handmade by my wife for the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. And those are Devil's Club salves in the back, and those are like a natural pain reliever. The ones in the front are amazing moisturizers. And yeah, Devil's Club root can be used for joint pain, inflammation, uh, bug bites, burns, cuts. Oh, I'm excited yeah. to check out your... Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Definitely uh, 
tell my daughter about it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for uh, the advice on the mountains out in Oregon, too, Absolutely. as well. Check I'm it looking out. forward to, to And while you're doing that, check out Bagby Hot Springs. That's the best place Ooh. in all of Oregon. So we got a Devil's Claw tincture, a lip balm, because I can't keep losing mine. And we also got a dozen eggs that look so fresh and delicious. All natural, baby. Yeah, we've kind of been off eggs for a little while because the stuff that you get in the store isn't necessarily the most high quality. Yep. So these look absolutely amazing. I'm excited about them, honestly. Yeah, and we're about to go camping for three days, so this will be good food while there. I got a very fruity breakfast. I got an oat cup with tons of fruit and a berry smoothie. on the historical society's interpretive trail for a woman named Belle who was instrumental to founding this area. And just at the end here, we should maybe be able to see Denali. Denali straight ahead. Yeah. Well, but unfortunately is just barely covered by the clouds. So right here in the center here is probably where Denali is. Um, and then you have another mountain range right here. Is that the sleeping lady, I think? I don't know. I think that might be the sleeping lady. So, no luck seeing Denali yet. Hopefully, we get to see her before we leave. Now it's your turn. We want to hear from you in the comments below. Are the roads in Alaska as bad as you thought they were going to be? Up next, we're heading into Denali National Park to become friends with grizzly bears and moose. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is an episode you're not going to want to miss.